Awesome. Uh, welcome to our new community race for Thursday. We've got me, I'm Hashmalum, and with me is Saberwolf. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Got a fun race using the new 1.0 features. Very, very yeah. different than what people are uh, used to seeing, I can guarantee. Uh, it'll be interesting for all of us. Not exactly sure if I'm ready for it either. Yep. And uh, I hear something in the background there. I don't know what I hear, though. Yeah, that, I hear um, that too. I got to turn that off. Let's see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, 1.0, everybody. This is going to turn the entire uh, the entire racing uh, faux pas, I guess you could say, on its head. Because there you can see the uh, with the configurations, everything on the screen right here, it is very, very, very different. So now we don't go by characters and espers anymore. No, we go by the number of actual checks you make. So in order to get to Kafka, you have to complete 14 checks. But that's not all. That is all you need to get to Kafka. I will unlock right. Kafka's power. But there's a but, lot more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's, well, wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on top of unlock, unlocking Kafka, depending on the number of checks you actually do, will unlock other things. For instance, if you do one check, as you see on the screen there under uh, Nobody War, um, you get a dried meat, which can actually help you if you want to get cow. If you do two checks, you get a breakable rod, and so on and so forth. All the way up to, uh, we'll, we'll see what number of the checks will keep it hidden because we don't see uh, some of the other later ones. Uh, you do see under F, if you do uh, seven checks, you get a set of Dragoon Boots on uh, Green on green Monkey's uh, screen. Um, so this is going to be extremely interesting, <laughs> what happens here. And, and it looks this like... is kind of just showcasing like the potential for 1.0. Not all 1.0 are based off checks like this seat is. This is just kind of how this one was generated. Yeah, this is going to be very uh, bingo-y on the number of places we're going to be going to. And um, on the types of checks we're going to see um, going to these other random places. But I like it. The only part I will say is that this will get you to other random places you wouldn't normally quite get into. And this one so far. Now, I do not know. Um, I, I haven't looked at all the notes yet. But I, ha I don't know if we can and we're actually. And off. Oh, we're off and running. Uh, what I was going to say is I don't know if we have uh, open world is on or whatever is on. I think I don't know if we're still no, by... it's character gated. Okay, it's still character gated, which means you can't just go to we have a Mog, Cyan, and uh, Yamaru check. It means you can't go into the uh, the base to get the treasure chest that you can with Terra. You can't go into the uh, Esper Cave yet, and such and so forth. But uh, nobody war looks like he's going to get an early battles in. He's not even going to try for any chests or anything. Yeah, interesting. That or he took one oh. step and forgot to equip his Moogle charm, which is very possible. Uh, well, no, he went south and went oh, a circle. Oh, did he? So, yeah, okay. he actually he's, physically he's went south. He's trying for it. And <laughs> Leo is Yamaro. That's interesting. Golden hairpin, drag free Dragoon boost. So we, now we can have two jumpers on the team because I did see that uh, I think it was Cyan had jumped. Um, and Moog had uh, X magic, so this is a really strong start already. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you've seen, uh, so I'm pretty familiar with most of these runners. I've raced against Brianna, Hefe, and Green Monkey, all very good runners. I'm not really familiar with Nobody War. No, I haven't seen Nobody War run. Um, I know the other three. Um, I do chat with all of them, uh, particularly Brianna, too, and I also race against Brianna several times. Um, and lost every single time because she's a really, <laughs> she's a really strong runner. Um, wow. Okay, I'm seeing. By the way, I'm seeing mystery avail, golden hairpin, uh, enhancer. So if if Mog can equip all of this, Mog is going to be set up and ready to go with his extra magic already as soon as you get any kind of magic spells other than scan. Because I did see everybody start with scan. So you could have two jumpers. Um, there are also dragoon boots in that chest in the chest room there, in Narsh. Uh, kind of yeah. interesting, maybe because we start with Mog, everybody just doing Narsh first. This is a pretty normal start, but not everybody follows that. 
Yeah, Yefe with a specter check there on what would be the wolf check. That's uh, not too hard. But no, not a great item afterwards either. Oh, oh but that's uh, oh. going to reset the specter though. <laughs> uh, Doom Darth's not your favorite on Undead, so. Nope. Should give him some quick experience, though, easy enough. Yeah, you're going to have two jumpers in the party. Uh, I don't think jump really works very well on Yamaro. And if you have X Magic already as a skill on Mog, probably don't want to put the boots on them either, even though they are a natural uh, Dragoon because they do naturally uh, use uh, spears and pikes and stuff. Yeah, that's the only way to use Mog, in my opinion. Well, you don't want to Turn dance them that away? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> I cannot remember, <laughs> memorize the dances, what's good, what's not, and I like having control, so. Just Edgar, dance. Edgar as well. Edgar and Mog, whenever I can turn them into... Unless it's a seat, of course, where you can't control the equipment, where the equipment's not natural, so. Alright, so it looks like it's an item or Esper behind uh, the Yamaro check. But um, because we're going to start with Mog and Yamaro on the team, I pretty much think we're going to be camping in uh, Narsh for quite a while here, <laughs> so... Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Chain a lot of checks all together. I forgot yep. to check if dragons were scaly. Oh, I think in this one, the dragons are not scaled, so they're going to be a lot tougher. Otherwise, in a game where you just have 14 checks, if the dragons were scaled, you just go kill all the dragons really quick, because then you'd gain tons of levels along with your... and get great gear while completing checks, so they're not scaled in this one, making them a much harder fight. Uh, JC Magic the Gathering is saying, Narsh start with Mog. You sure you don't want to level first before you do Kefka and Narsh? And nobody war did, right? He took a battle, so... Yeah. <laughs> so that actually was a kind of a smart move. Um, I didn't see what the Mog check was, actually. Oh, we have a Gao on the Kefka and Narsh. Interesting. Monkeys doesn't look like he's interested in that though. They'll get the dried meat as soon as they, as soon as they get him, or like nobody worth going up here to get the item or esper. I didn't see what it was. Oh, we can uh, hold. We get a second chance at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're distracted, squirrel. Ooh, a cat hood. That's cat actually hood. pretty tempting. Ooh, oh, e. <laughs> this early in a seed to get that much money would be fantastic. Money, money. Uh, well, we're going for the uh, whatever the other thing is, which is it is an Esper Ooh, Golem. Golem. That's actually Very good. good. Dried Very meat, good. objective complete. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, sure one too. thing really nice with that, it announces when you've completed things. So if you don't have to check your tracker, if you think you've got maybe one Magicite off, it, it tells you when you're ready for Kefka's Tower, which I like. Atma, praise Atma, if you're listening. Um, every time you complete <laughs> objective, you should do the Final Fantasy IV fanfare. Every time you complete objective there, so you hear dun, da 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 dun, da 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 da. <laughs> Every time you do it, that'd be amazing. <laughs> so nobody war is gonna try Kefka at Narsh. It looks like he's gonna do the uh, Cyan and Bog's gonna be the main body there. And oh, I guess the Chancellor from uh, Figaro is gonna be our Kefka for the night. A very awesome palette. Oh, looks like uh, Yafe also picked up some earrings somewhere, and looks like some mega elixirs are already available for 43,000. So, Sailing Cat mentions also in the chat so we are keeping track of characters, it looks like, but then on top of characters, um, all completed the checks that they do will be noted as Magicite. So for this, even a dead check would count as a completed uh, check, which is our progression. Magi Master Jr. This is not going to be easy. Starting off with Infuse is always nice. Oh, but if you scan yourself, I guess you open your <laughs> up to things, apparently. <laughs> oh, he's X got magic, X magic scan. So. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Double scan for the win! Excalibur! In uh, World of Ruin Figaro oh, for man. Green Monkey. Number 24 not playing along. And some more oh, and ability. a double scan again for Mog. Double scan, double... Oh boy, um, well... 
Pepe just picked up his own free cat hood in the South Figaro basement, so he won't be as tempted to grab the, the free one top of Narsh. All I can say is Walmart eat your <laughs> heart out, and that's a reset. <laughs> he is out. He does not want to watch another scan. So Nobody War got tired of this checkout line here at Walmart and uh, <laughs> decided to do a reset. Oh, I mean, it's not, again, it's not a hard fight, though. I mean, it really isn't a hard fight. It's just bad luck. And me free Mega Elixir in the basement for Brianna. And I'm going to try it with, with Umaro instead of Mog. Hopefully that Umaro is punching instead of scanning. That should both break, confuse, as well as attack the enemy. So that's a good play. 14,000 gold chest also in the basement of Figaro. Got some good loot for Tiger sure. Fangs. That'll get them ahead. And Tiger Fangs is in the back room of the mansion on the side, in the side back room. A cat hood, free cat hood for Monkey in the basement as well. Now, you don't have Celeste. Sorry, Monkey. <laughs> yeah. Force of habit sometimes just pop in there. Now, would you crowns, try to actually, a solid though? helmet. Now, Hash, uh, would you try to take some levels with the soldiers here? I would. So, I don't, typically. I recognize that a lot of people do it, and it's a solid strategy. But it's not some... Oh, you mean up there with nobody for it. I was thinking walking yes. through walking through South Figaro Basement, if that's also another strategy to get some extra battles while you're walking around. Um, no. Either way, really, would be good. I don't know how much the levels are really going to help him. It might just give number 24... Um, yeah, they're pretty low. It'd be better damage. Yeah, it'd probably be a good call. It just I mean, depends on what those soldiers are, of course. Yeah, because you're only dealing with physical attacks. You don't have any magic spells yet. It doesn't scan, apparently. But, <laughs> I mean... I mean, I would definitely try to get some levels here. And you can, you know, you can expedite the uh, amount of fights you can try to get into. Because you don't have to walk around in a circle trying to find a fight. You can initiate the fights where you want. Unlike Gafe, who's wandering around the field, they still can't get a fight here. I hope he doesn't have a Google Charm. There you go. <laughs> uh, Brianna, we missed, went up into Zen to check with the thief, and she was able to... I didn't see its cost, but she was able to buy the item there, and it was a snow muffler, which is always a good item to find. Ooh. Well, that's an extra snow muffler, because uh, Yamara already starts with one, so... Uh, nobody so wore then. He took number 24 out. That didn't take that long, so... I don't know. No, mm -mm. GP Rain, and I think that was Fight, actually, on... Um... Now he's got a set. I believe that objective for breakable rods gives him a set of one each of the basic uh, breakable rods. Oh, that's in that's Fire, Thunder, and an Ice Rod. Yeah, it's really good. It's worth it even to go take like a... So you can set those rewards behind checks that people don't normally like to do or checks that didn't exist before. Uh, you can get that for going to, say, Opera House and going through the Opera scene. And then at the end of it, you could get breakable rods or an experience egg or an Illumina or whatever someone sets to that. And the, the rods are going to save you time. Those three rods could potentially kill three bosses that might take a lot longer to fight. So, uh, Cyan is able to equip an Excalibur, by the way, uh, which makes sense. That's one of the things I never understood in this game, how, how Cyan can't equip the best swords and weapons in the game. <laughs> but... Yeah, to have his unique katanas or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Japanese swords <laughs> only. Sky renders pretty solid though, so. Yeah. And Tempest is really nice if you have an offering on um, early game. I don't know with the animation, it's not my favorite still. Well, okay, if you're racing, no, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Strength wise, it can get you through some early checks, but yeah. And that not is my, not my favorite weapon. And that is an octopus number three or four? I think that's four. I don't know their numbers. I just know yeah. that one does not have coupons, so that's great. That's three. Experience. Not bad. So that's three. So this is uh, this is Ultros three for the leader check. Oh, so the Schwanz is saying Gao is GP rain and slot. There you go, slot and GP rain on the Oh, jeez. So you just full gambler, huh? Full on gambler, yo. If you want to try out 1.1 yourself, you can head over to www.ff6wc.com and you can run your own seeds with this and also check out our Discord, which is always being updated every week, apparently, uh, layout-wise, but it's uh, we're, we're trying to organize things to make things easier to find. Um, but yeah, that's a great community. It's 
always active. It's probably the most active Discord I'm a part of, um, at least. So yeah, check that out. Not only active, but full of awesome people like us. Very friendly community, willing to help with whatever questions you may have. So I definitely recommend joining. It's a fun game and a great community, so. Huh, Aura Lance is off the uh, leader check here, uh, which would be good for the jumper. Um, if they can equip it, which would be uh, Saiyan. I now see Mog could probably just equip it anyways. Um, Normally you can... An interesting Yafe is actually getting levels from the other soldiers on the check. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. I've never really done that one, but these commandos don't look like they're a great bunch of experience. Yeah, that's not very much yeah. at all. <laughs> Get, him him him. <laughs> Get him while they're down! Get him while he's down on the ground! <laughs> Once is once likes this as a when you have a science start to do this. I've definitely seen it before. I never have done it, but I see the if you need the extra experience. But in this one, where he hasn't grabbed a bunch of free checks to increase the the level of the mobs, he's not getting enough experience, in my opinion, to make it very worth it. Yeah, and then as Schwantz says, also if you do that, you just spent all that time, and if it's a hard boss. You lose all that experience and all that time, just like as if you went to Burning House or Leet River that nobody likes. So, now well, luckily it's an easy boss, and Yafe takes care of that as Nobi War goes into the trench for some more levels. Gonna check at the end while Brianna was uh, pillaging. Um, uh, I forget what the town's called for the burning building, uh, Burning House. The Masa. Yeah, the Masa. Or however you pronounce it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Green Monkey doing a check. There have been a lot of dead checks so far, which is really funny, because normally you would be cursing every time you pulled one of these dead checks, but in this seed, where it's just checks, you don't care what's in it, it's kind of awesome to get these top tier items. Uh, Cyan can equip the Ore Lance, so that is a great item for the jumper there. Uh, of course, nobody else can equip the Excalibur at the moment, but Brianna is going to head up the hill to do the Kefka at Marsh check to get the, um, uh, <laughs> to get Gao, so. We'll see if she goes with the Cat Hood or, uh, Golem Esper. Hopefully she goes for Golem, that's definitely, you don't know what it is beforehand, but that's the right call. Well, I mean, but you again, get... in this, in this seed, which one do you take? Because now it's a top tier item where before it used to just be like a smoke bomb, just any random item. And you still get the progression either way. So before you would always take the Esper because of the progression, but now you have an option. Yeah, but with Mog, I mean, you can just go get the. You can get both of them. That's true. You, you actually go to Ruin and get and go get the Cat Hood. I mean, it takes that's like a little, little time, but that's so, a really good item. So Hefe here a little bit lost in the dream, so one of oh, the 1.0 no. changes that I'm not ready for either is you don't just find the one child anymore, you have to find two of them. So two I have or three the, of them. It's just two. And I have oh. the path for one memorized, like all of us, but I have no idea what the path is for two. Well, I have the path for two because I always went that path for some stupid reason, because I could never find <laughs> the one path. Do it on so I'm all set for this! I'm prepared! <laughs> <laughs> And that is Yamara number, as Ultros number two! Wow, back-to-back -back Ultros. That was a quick fight, too. And uh, Brianna right did take the Gotham, so... Yeah, that's the right call. Uh, Yefe is doing the dream check, which is a bit of a long check, but it's kind of you kind of get three things out of it. So yeah, it's three Maybe checks in one. Yeah. It's my favorite check. It's definitely you. Someone's been timing the checks, and your time per reward for the dream is, I think, the best in the game. Yeah, because you get like two or three items worth, so it's really nice, especially if you have a in, and if you have somebody who can use um. Door tech. Uh, Cyan sword ability there. Um, yeah, sword tech. You get that, you get maxed out when you get the 7th and 8th uh, level 1s, which is what everybody wants, so. And finding a Genji glove on the train, which is an awesome item. As long yeah. as you, I often end with like three 
Genji gloves and not using any of them because I didn't find any Ragnaroks or Illuminas to use them with. Oh, okay. So this was actually a good thing not to take the soldiers' battle because that is a Pandora and that is not what you want to fight. And that is going to be a dead. I don't know. It's just slow. Okay. Let's see. Come just on, keep man. Up here. Run. Oh, oh no! No! Oh no! Oh, Mog already run. Dead play in here. <laughs> oh, that's right. Snowball only does half your turn. Yeah, it does your half. So if it gets him down to one, it can kill him. Oh, and then she's back to running with a really slow cyan. Come Evil on, man. Dude. Get out of there. Schwan saying that, yeah, maybe the dead checks aren't technically dead checks, but he would still prefer getting spells rather than items. To me, yeah. really, I'm Especially happy with, with either one. That's true. Dust Ooh, that's jumping a, in so Atma. many things to relearn. You don't have to relearn it. Yeah, you do. Actually, you have to relearn everything. Yep. Oh man, having to get a smoke bomb to get out of that situation. And oh, and Templar. Templar. Do they even give experience? I don't think they do. They might. Ooh, a lot of these. A lot of these fights, if they're from, uh, which. Uh, Imperial camp don't give any experience. Templar is a good rage, though. I will say. Wow, that was a short Atma. That was a really quick Atma. Did he use rods or something? I failed to see that when I was watching Brianna. No, it wasn't Brianna too. Running shoes on a Yeti. I always like getting running shoes or Marvel shoes on a Yeti. That's one fast Yeti. Which Hefe did pick up Marvel shoes I saw while he was in checking the extra chests in Doma Castle that I never go for. Uh, so Yefe gets another breakable rods thing. He also yep. got. So um, that's his second check, and now he's grabbing his third just by walking up to the throne room. Nope, he's gonna check uh, Cyan's bedroom for an iron helmet, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I do go to the tower room because I always find something interesting out of that. That is an infrared. Not bad. Tools objective. So the infrared has uh, regular fire and muddle, I think it was. Oh, ice three. Definitely good against that one. That's very good, yeah. That's good for Tiger. Yeah, Seto Kiaba in the, or Seto, he told me, Seto Kiaba in the chat saying if he has good high level magic, he'd rather find good armor than, say, an Aura Lance or something. But you could just get best of both worlds, find an Illumina, which is your best weapon in the game and one of the best defensive weapons, or items oh, in the game. And that's a goddess Ooh. in the sky. And I also see the three Stoogers on the screen. I believe that's the, uh, that's the Esper check there on top of the hill. That's Tritok. Yeah, that's the Tritok check. Ooh, that's a, that was a very quick... Uh, and there's where you're really glad to have your rods. You use an ice rod to take out the, the top dude really quick. Yep. There was fire on the other one. And then Hefe also elected to use his rods since he's in the goddess fight. I think that's the right call. Yeah, you don't want to mess around with these two fights very much. And he takes out Goddess. Again, another quick fight for Hefe. Well, these guys are starting with very good items with rods and everything else. So, yeah, this is these fights are not going to be very... Uh, si these fights are going to be one-sided. But also, set so, shout out to Seto Kiaba for being our restreamer tonight. And also a uh, quick shout out to, uh, I believe it's Ceiling Cat, doing the tracking for us. Now, tracking again is going to be a little bit different. Uh, characters are still going to be tracked for characters as they gain them, but the espers are actually going to be the number of uh, objectives you have completed. Uh, so if you're a little confused on how it said zero espers needed and one character needed, that's why. So. Alright, a very different format than what we're used to. Whoops. <laughs> Raid guy was hiding in the corner there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sometimes yep. you have to just walk behind all those buildings to be able to find him, so. Green Monkey jumping down to finish off uh, Umaro's checks. I love Umaro's doing Umaro since you get two checks in one as well. I have never grabbed that monster in the box that Green Monkey just grabbed. Ooh, and it's Pugs. We'll see if he runs or if he fights it in hopes of getting a Minerva. He doesn't have anyone with steel, I don't think. No. Nope, and he's just gonna smoke bomb. I think that's a good call. That Pugs fight can be, can be pretty slow. Hitting Minerva is always awesome, but the chances are pretty low. Yeah, getting rid of the rest of these uh, kind of... Uh... Uh, free checks here, but nobody well, did pick up Edgar. I don't know where he picked Edgar up from. Uh, must have been the end of the trench. Uh, it might have been, yeah. I missed I missed that as well. What's... Oh, no, I lost what I was going to say. Oh, we got a, the glitch on Nobody War, as every time he turns sideways, he disappears. Well, I don't think uh, Leo was ever... Uh... <laughs> correctly meant, uh meant to be here yeah 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 so that's just an item for the uh mount zozo check so there must have been the other trench for the uh edgar gain so this uh objective of just finding of just completing checks is another really interesting thing because with the characters that we started out with there weren't a ton of i don't think anyone has a straight up free check i mean you could kind of say Mogs is just a free check, especially since you can do Kefka at Narsh when you're at the top there, but that's his only check, so it's not like they have a lot of really quick, easy checks to get those objectives super fast, so I was assuming they'd have kind of a slower start, but it seems to have been going pretty quick. The rods really help with that. And this is Ultros 4 for Green Monkey. <laughs> yeah, the worst fight. Happened to fight Chupon just to get Nothing. Yeah. And Hefe with that check, getting the snow muffler from the thief, now gets a complete dragoon set. So he gets a dragon horn and dragoon boots. Whoo, that's nice. I like pairing that with the uh, imp set collection. Get a full imp set. Oh, I did that. Imp. I did that in a recent seed, and it really slowed me down though, because then I took some extra fights to then learn imp, so then I could equip it. And it ended up not being as good as that weapon I already had, so eh. I just lost a lost a few minutes there that I didn't need to. I was so mad I missed that because I had to stay in a hotel room that night from a snowstorm, and I missed that race, and I wanted to be in that one so bad. And of course, they do imps, and I'm like, God dang it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a top tier lance too. The Schwant says I actually did not know that. You also get a top tier lance. Can it be, would it just okay. be Pearl, Aura? <laughs> I mean, that would be it, right? Is it either Pearl or Aura well, doesn't or... even need. The thing is, you don't even need boots. You don't even need boots because Zion already has Jump to start with, so you can give him Gauntlet for crying out loud. Yeah, or At Atlas Armlet or a bunch of really good items. Yeah, he already has an Aura, he already has an Aura Lance. He has Jump already, so all you need is the Horn and a Gauntlets and you're good to go. Our pearl or gold is what is the lance that comes with the boots and the horn. Yeah, I actually love giving my jumpers uh, marvel shoes so that they are jumping and landing a lot faster. Uh, that's true. I don't know, I like the 510 power. <laughs> and Green Monkey not knowing where to find, maybe. Looks like he's a little lost in the dream. Uh, the learning curve for 1.0, watching these races has been really, really fun because it was, we were very comfortable very familiar with how these seeds go for a while and now none of us are so it's kind of fun <laughs> He's, uh, watching us all stumble the right door go to the right door no <laughs> uh, here we got the other one okay there you go yeah he got him <laughs> fa also getting the esper instead of the cat hood yeah everybody's esper uh, cat hood cat hood's the best helmet in the game, but that doesn't mean it's a fantastic item. I mean, the extra gold is good, especially if you get it early, but otherwise, it really is a mediocre item. What, nobody wants Trident? <laughs> God. Yeah, that Phantom, uh, that Phantom Esper does carry the, um, Ice 3. Muddle, um, 
Muddle is very important to have. Oh no, that's not Muddle. Uh, Berserk is what you want for uh, Magia Master. Magia Master? Mm hmm. Yeah, Berserk is a fantastic spell to have. It also can get you through the Fanatics Tower. Because, uh, I mean, that's one of my favorite checks as well, but you have to have the right setup for it. You get a top tier item, there's a dragon on the way, and you get the check that's peekable, but sometimes you don't have the magic for it. But if you can just cast Berserk on your offering at Atma weapon character, then you're set. Uh, yeah, I feel a little bit behind on characters right now. Um, actually, Green Monkey is too. They each still only have three characters. Um, Nobody War still sitting on five. Looks like he's going to do his uh, Mount Zozo check now, which is just going to be an item. And Brianna is going to try to get Edgar. So pretty soon we're going to be going into the Ed Edgar checks uh, for Nobody War and Brianna here. It'd be a good time to do it, too. They've got the power that they could probably start grabbing a dragon or two, which count as a check, give a good item, mm -hmm. and a ton of experience. And there so. is a dragon in the uh, in the, in the uh, Edgar check, so... Exactly, and well, a bunch one. of monster in the box, so... Well, there's one here that nobody war could do for the uh, for the cyan check here. Um, I think it still might be a little early, and I don't know if the uh, dragons are scaled yet or not. The dragons are not scaled, so they're so probably not a level good idea sixty or right. whatever they are supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, very tough. So that's why, I mean, those who did the Umaro checks didn't go for the dragon fight either because the dragon would be very difficult. And nobody wore passes up, not quite ready for the Zozo Dragon. Uh, our full? restreamer, our restreamer full subscribed check. here one sub. Thank you. Oh, very <laughs> cool. So yeah, <laughs> subscribing to the channel, that money goes to charity. That doesn't go to anybody here or anybody on the stream. So uh, definitely subscribe, follow along, and those monies go to charity, which is great. Yep, we all do this out of the kindness of our heart. We don't get paid or anything. We just do this for the fun. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not out of kindness. That's definitely not why I do it. But... And shout out have, to... Have a uh... good time. What? And instead of Kiaba gifting a sub to uh, Gyro03. Congrats for that. We got Green Monkey taking on Atma. Let's see if he can do a quick fight. Throwing a pearl rod, using the rods to get through it much quicker. That's a good, good idea. Still with only three characters, same as Hefe. Oh, jumping with that Excalibur and healing Atma for 800. Yeah, pearl yeah, or holy yeah. element, heal Atma. Yeah, Atma is pure energy, so you do not want to be using uh, Excaliburs or anything like that. Umaro hitting for surprisingly little damage, actually. I wonder what he still got just a bone club or something. Hopefully well, you can find him a better fine. item. Bone club's fine. <laughs> or maybe he's got him in the back row, too. I don't know, because the damage was lower than I would have expected. Of course, they are still pretty low levels. Yeah, so once again, getting Edgar, who is a natural Dragoon character, being able to use the uh, spears as a natural weapon, and getting the Dragon Horn again for Brianna, is able to have, plus the early Dragon Boots that she got from the beginning of the game, is able to uh, get a second uh, Dragoon on line here. Probably should have grabbed uh, two Dragon Horns. She only bought the one so far. I saw. Well, they're they're gonna get one for free for sure as one of the objectives. So maybe she only wanted to oh, buy true. one, to get the other, knowing the other free one. If she doesn't already have it, is coming. And nobody were taking on the Stooges. This is this is when you want to fight the Stooges. Uh, if they get scaled really high, their magic is really intense. And if you run into them late game or in the Kefka Tower, where you only got one or two characters, they can also be really difficult. So, they're a really situational boss. He should have no, no be war, should have no problem with them. I like him also using the sniper. A sniper, I think, is a very, what? very valuable weapon. Okay, items in order from Brianna from the World of Ruin Figaro Enhancer, 
Force Shield, Mega Elixir, uh, Atma Weapon, Excalibur, in that order, Muscle Belt. Oh man, all very good stuff. And then Atma uh, Weapon for, for 18, for 18k with the Edgar discount. Holy and cow. And a Muscle Belt to go with it? Are you well, the Muscle me? Belt doesn't help the Atma Weapon. Oh wait, no, it's the um, it's the Giant's Belt, right? Not Giant's Belt. Um, what's the one that raises your health? So that is that one, but Atma Weapon is not based off health. Atma Weapon's well, damage fully, yeah. is so only based on level. And then it, and that we and lowered then, it too. And then depending on how much health you've lost, but higher max hit point doesn't help Atma Weapon at all. However, yeah, they, but they, there is a Valiant Knife. Someone, I think Pepe or someone found a Valiant Knife earlier, yeah. if I remember right. Or was that the last one I was watching? Um, but I that would help. Okay, so maybe not this one. But yeah, that would help with the damage, because then percentage of hit points lost, the damage does go up. And yeah, and Seto does bring up, uh, remember that uh, Sniper does do a lot of damage, and that was a shout out to uh, Nobody War using a Sniper, I believe it's on Edgar, is uh, using, yeah, he's the, using uh, Sniper. A got a genji glove with a sniper and another weapon and the sniper if it procs will do three times its damage and it does double damage to floating or something like that so it can be it can be incredibly powerful since most bosses are floating anyway uh nobody will pick up an esper as it's phoenix off of the yamaro check as yafe is doing the uh gal recruitment check because you get the free dried, dried meat there. I always have the worst time with that one. That one takes me 10 minutes, I feel like, just to get the 5 8 chance. Well, maybe he has two snipers on, on Edgar. It looked like maybe he does. Uh, the second one was a knife attack, so I don't know. Oh, okay. That's what I thought I saw first, and then recently I thought it was a double. Oh, okay. It's like a wing edge or something. Wing edge and a sniper. Oh, it's, yeah, it's wing edge and a sniper. Oh, uh, it might be Rising Phoenix, maybe? Because I saw, yeah. I saw Rising Sun. I mean, not Rising Rising. And that is Edgar's brother on the uh, Edgar Thief check. It's always a good find, not only does Sabin have some pretty awesome stats, and especially if he has the right skills, but he's also a fantastic character for checks. He's got a lot of quick checks, and in the seed where you don't care what's at the checks, he's a great find. Ooh, and nobody were fulfilling his uh, Illumina requirement. Well, he's got someone that can equip that. His caliber is Illumina's. Uh, Ooh, Edgar, Illumina? The Illumina. It's a natural weapon for him. That is fantastic. That, that was Genji. Illumina with a, a lot sniper? Of I think he actually kept the wing Damn. edge instead of the sniper. The did he edge? switch? Yeah, I think he well, did. I would have switched. Higher base stats. That's why. Yeah, okay, wing edge is really good for sure. But I think I take a sniper over the wing edge. But they're both good options for sure. Yeah, Kazun Tai Shupan, Kazun Tai. Bless you, bless you, Shupan. <laughs> <laughs> Another muscle belt, double muscle belt now. These, I, I don't know. Okay, who rolled this seed? Like seriously, who rolled this? Oh, that was in the chat. It was... Oh, I can't remember. Was it Franklin who did it? I can't remember is, who. It can't be. This is not a Franklin scene. This can't be. That or maybe it was Mr. Entity. I don't remember who, oh, who did it. Man, I remember this is that. a juiced seed, man. <laughs> it's a very powerful one for sure, so... It just keeps handing you stuff all the way through. You have more and more stuff. Oh, Seto did. Seto oh, Kiyabu Seto did. did. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, going, agreeing with what I was saying. You don't care about what the check is. Some checks become very valuable. Some checks that normally, maybe you wouldn't. I mean, we always like the fast checks anyway. So. I'm not talking about the checks. I'm talking about the chests, man. <laughs> yeah, that's These true. These checks are loaded. <laughs> oh, he does have the sniper on Edgar. Okay. I just saw the sniper proc, so. Okay, he must have switched it because he did have. Uh, wing edge uh, first, wing yeah. Wing edge first, and he must have just switched it out. Mm, yeah, because he, he that... auto killed the Caracas, and that and sniper doesn't do that. Nope. So. Using the own to Zen plus auction house, he thinks would be very powerful. I mean, the Zen thief 
getting counting that as a quick check is fantastic. And then auction house, uh, maybe if you have Zelfer luck, that would be really good. You'd get some checks, but someone like yeah, me, I was gonna say you need Zelfer steal Zelfer luck for that. Yeah, I don't know how powerful that would be for me. So, well, uh, Brianna's working her way through Naked Behemoth right now. Um, getting there. Fire works really well, unfortunately, but only have one just plain fire right now. Yeah, too bad she doesn't have any doom or insta death, as Senior Behemoth is susceptible to that. There. I am there we go, so our free land, Behemoth though. suit too there, too. So that's going to be a nice item. Always good to find, yeah. And a Thunderblade, meh. And you get Sabin, who has steel and natural magic. So if we've been keeping up, which congrats to uh, Ceiling Cat for trying to keep up with the uh, checks and the tracking on this, this would be a yeah. nightmare for me to try to track. So look in wise if the tracks are set, uh, if they're up to date, it's pretty close between everybody coming up around 10 or so checks, which means we should be coming up on the end of it pretty quick. The last three checks should, with the power that they now have should be really really fast. Yeah, we're going to do a couple of quick checks here with the Edgar Castle, so... So Dusk is asking me, so no undead is on then. Yeah, so there is no undead, but that doesn't mean you can't still use uh, X-Zone to kill undead. That still works on, like, Phantom Train or Senior Behemoth or whatever, but you couldn't use, like, a Revivify to take one out. So this is quick, but not diabolical. Right. Green Monkey going for the quick skip. I don't know if he uh, accidentally ran into the wall there for a second and had this guy show up. Right. Schwan says yeah. that's what I was trying to say. So. It's a meteor, powerful spell. Not my favorite, but. Yeah, it's a little slow, maybe. but with X Magic, you can do a pretty good amount of damage. Especially if you need the AoE. And insta death weapons proc on undead as well. Absolutely. Yeah, that's interesting. Didn't know that. Yeah, you can use. Uh, they don't hit every time, but you could use a, a wing edge or an assassin dagger to kill the second phase of the be senior behemoth. Well, that's awkward. Locke is on the throne in uh, Figaro Castle with rage as his uh, skill ability. Another set of dragoon boots. So if they have, yeah, how many jumpers are they going to have with all the horns and the free dragoon equipment? A bunch of lances. So with 14 checks needed for Kefka, uh, Nobody War will be two checks away after killing Naked uh, Senior Bohemoth. Um, he'll be two checks away. Uh, His damage is up there too. He's getting pretty strong, so he's pretty close. See now if maybe take some dragons or something to get some extra levels. Yeah, Atlas Armlet is also another underrated another way weapon um, re uh, relic item to really boost your damage coming out of your weapons. So and with this weapon, see between Excalibur and Illuminas and and uh, Atma weapons, and snipers and Atma weapons. You, 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 you know. <laughs> just missing the offering if they can just get a couple offerings they'll be set that is like the only item we haven't seen yet is offering oh well in a seed where atma weapons only cost eighteen thousand. yeah they're, i'm yeah. surprised they aren't favoring checks that have uh monsters in the box and such so which nobi ward is doing now going to the doing the edgar checks there's two and brianna's doing them right now see if she goes for the monsters in the box yep yep Gotta find that offering. That's usually where it is, but nope. Yeah, that's a Telstar, which the, doesn't even give experience. One. Yep. Mm. That was a quick run, though. That was good. Yep. Now, is she gonna pick up a dragon here? <clears throat> that does count as a check, though. Bring her back into the game a little bit quicker. Magoo Magoo. Another cat hood. And the gold hairpin. It'd be great for Mog with the X spell. That's our third cat hood I think we've seen already. It's, we're 
really good items, like you've been saying. Real? Oh no, Yafe with the imp pull and the auction house! <laughs> and no reset, so maybe he did some shopping and stuff, so he doesn't wanna, he doesn't wanna reset. Never mind, forget the hairpin, we do got an economizer now. Oh no, it's stormy. Ooh, Thunder Rods should help a lot with the Yeah, we got Rods. Though. But, I mean, if he's not scaled, he's gonna have a lot of hit points. Oh, Edgar has health for the, uh, for his skill ability. Interesting. Let's see how much damage this does here. Yeah, Ooh. that's what I was afraid of. Oh, that hurt. Luckily, Cyan was in the air, drops down for a couple thousand damage, but... Yeah, but he doesn't have much health either. Another rage, and this one's over. Does have a lot of mega elixirs. He does so, and Ooh, also bring nobody it up, more. Also risky. doing the dragon, but he doesn't lose anybody. Side by side, doing storm dragons here on either side of the screen. Ooh, throwing down rods, not trying to raise his people anymore, just going for it. Hail Mary, right here. <laughs> yeah, Hail Mary for Brianna. Dragons do oh, and there's a punch. rage. That's, yeah, that is a tough dragon. Yeah, and I don't know when she saved. She didn't have the levels for that. Oh, she saved right before going into the castle area, so she'll yeah. probably have to clear the castle Actually, again. She'll lose the economizer as well, so I have to re-get that. Uh, doesn't have to do the fight with Telstar anymore, because you already know what that right. is. So. Yep, she knows where the bad stuff is, so it shouldn't take too long to get back where she was. Well, nobody was starting to have people fall. There goes the healer. Edgar. Oh, but that was an awesome four land for Cyan to do a bunch of damage. Yeah, want to get these, uh, you want to keep your people up for a dragon check like this, because this is going to be a lot of experience to catapult your levels really quick. Oh, double attack that's blocked. Yeah, that nice block. <laughs> Clutch blocked by Saban. What does Saban have? I haven't seen him be super useful yet. Oh, and um, Cyan, drop in four times for another 10k damage, breaking the quad nine. Uh, I think Saban just has Tiger, Tiger Fangs. I think that's all he has. Oh, there you go! Oh, he has Steel. Yeah, not anybody's favorite uh, ability. But nobody more another... taking up the dragon. That's awesome. Another imp for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! Oh, man. He loves Auction House, too. No, he hates it. I don't know. He does it a lot, but he definitely is very vocal about how much he hates it. Final oh, Kefka complete. 14-14 for Nobody War. Looks like uh, they're using Hefe. I don't have the volume for the stream on, but they're using the Auction House music on Hefe's scream, so Seto says just you better enjoy it. He's not switching it. <laughs> Another one! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no. That's see? And that's a hefe luck for you. That's, this is I would why call you that save. hash luck. <laughs> this is yeah. why you save outside the auction house before you do this, because resetting is faster than going through this dang scene. Uh damn <laughs> um um play out the scene here. And uh, the Schwantz with the best comment. Imp Robot 3, Hefe 0. <laughs> oh, no. That's terrible. Did 1.0 1. 1. 1. take away all the espers out of the auction house, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. The, the, hint, the hint is still there, so definitely not. No. He, he knows whether or not the match site's there, so. Well, Nobody War is now on the hill to go to Kefka. It does have a dragon under their belt for the extra levels. So we'll and no save. He... Yeah. Oh, four in a row. Wow. That is insane. What are the odds of that? I can't even imagine. Yeah, I think he broke the internet. He, he really <laughs> broke the internet now. Oh, I feel his pain. That's just so terrible. I almost never do auction house because of this. That that would this is what would happen to me. Anna Fofana doing a fantastic check. This is a super quick one. If it wasn't for the animation at the end, it would be crazy fast. Yeah. 
So uh, nobody aboard, getting some uh, equipment together. Just in case, get some extra uh, items here. Bard's hat, you gotta have that Bard's hat. Oh yeah. Getting that royal discount as well. An extra force shield will help. And <laughs> Hefe taking a long pause outside the auction house. Really? Am I really gonna do it again? Yeah, yes. am I really, do I really wanna yes, do this? Yes, he does. I really wanna do this. And three, two, one. Oh, hey! that is the magic fight. Schwan says he thinks he got one already, so that would be his second. Da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> just, just buy the imp already. Jeez. All right, let's reset things here. Uh, Nobody War is about to probably go to Kafka here in a second. Uh, Brandon Fofana polishing up on some other checks here. Nefe finally getting. <laughs> Oh, he has haste. He has auto haste on all his characters now, so that's interesting. He's one check away now uh, from getting to the hill for Kefka. And Green Monkey, a little bit behind, unfortunately, for character wise. He's just about to get his Edgar here in a second. We're all pretty close. We're pretty close here. Yeah, everyone's, I mean, fairly close, so we'll see. See how much though, with all these checks and all these different he's nobody worth checking his rewards, what else has he got? I mean auto image is basically um what do you call it? Uh, calmness protection. So Ooh. that would be pretty fantastic to get. How many checks are you away? So it's really a push your luck. How many checks, how many rewards do you think you can really get before going and fighting Kefka? So So nobody wore doing the lock check of the tunnel armor. To in order to get this uh, image. Oh, and it's oh, guy. it's spicy chicken time. Spicy chickens a chat, everybody. Ooh, Zion, nice living through that shrapnel, doing sixteen hundred damage. Doing a quick heal on nobody as Zion went to the air. He has had some amazing dragon horn jumps, though. I don't know if I've seen Cyan land only twice yet. Now, that's the question. We don't know, uh, Sato, if you lose the auto image as the battle goes on or if it's permanent. I imagine that you start each battle with it cast, and then mm. if you get hit, I mean, it can there are things that can take image off, but I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, the thing is, does it restart? I think, the, I think the other question of that is, would it restart at each tier? Right, that's what I was just thinking. I imagine it would, but I, yeah, if we'd have to ask someone who knows anything about the game. Emma, where are you? Well, you know what? This is kind of a test run for everybody here, so <laughs> we'll all learn together. <laughs> yeah, you lose images like normal, he says. Okay, okay. that's what boo. Says. All right. But does it reset every tier, boo? And having bio for for poltergeist on nobody war screen that's, that's a bad. great spell to have for poltergeist There's, i mean i haven't seen a lot of really good magic this speed so it's good to have something useful no the great spell for poltergeist would be stop <laughs> that would be the true. great one to have and a yeah, lot of those Edgar, sniper man. procs sniper doing more damage than illumina again just to show how uh powerful that weapon can be. Yeah, Sniper is an amazing weapon when it when it procs. It is really nice. Oh man, it's a fire three to the face. <laughs> and mock down. Brianna taking the ice dragon. Vanilla ice dragon no less. She's hoping this will go better than for her than than the other ones. Than the the storm dragon. Oh yeah, there's she's got fire rods. She got fire rods, this won't be so bad. Hey, Dead Poltergeist, so only the brothers will get the XP off this. There's some Aura Lance and Fenrir, so there's the image, so you get the auto image and you get the Fenrir too, so. <laughs> that, yeah, there you go. 
he's definitely got image ready for his next fight for this Kefka. See, Hefe's levels are early 30s, so I don't know how many more checks he has, but his levels are just about ready to go to Kefka. Yeah, I think he's setting up for his final builds here. Uh, he's 14 on 14, so. I was really oh, you got the auto image. So, no, he's gonna be no, he's gonna be 15 or 16 now. He's got the auto image. I was very confused right? by where nobody war landed, and it was not on purpose. So he he moves to go do Imperial camp. What was your question there? Um, Yafe, I believe, has 16 checks completed, right? Yeah. So Yafe is at 16. He's got the uh, auto image. He's got he got auto image. So Yafe is at 16. Uh, nobody war is at 16. He's going for a 17 now. I don't know why with 17. Yeah, that? what's the next? Re I don't think anything for 17. So maybe he's going for the next reward after that. Well, the next, next trick uh, you get to is learn there a, spells. Isn't there a, is that for 20 checks or? Yeah, no, 20 checks is speed all. You know what that means? Oh, you get somewhere between zero and 50 speed for all of your characters. And you get zero and 30 magic power for all for at 20 as well. And you also oh, you learn get and 30 bigger spells. zero to 70. And your vigor goes up to somewhere between zero and 70. So yeah, 20 checks is a huge one. I see why he wants to do that. Yeah, it might but make if the you rest get of zero, what if you get zero magic power? Well, yeah, see, that's what that sucks. But then you might get 70 vigor. If all your characters get 70 vigor, I mean, who cares what their weapon is? They're gonna be hitting pretty hard. I'd go for Kefka now. I don't want to take the risk. <laughs> Well, they might need the levels as well. I mean, they're only 50 minutes in. He's just over 2,000 hit points. I and mean, he's pretty strong. Hasted, imaged. Yeah. I mean, when the thing with having characters with so much speed with auto haste, you can weight trick Kefka down to almost not getting any turns at all. So, yeah, you might be right. It might be the time to go to, to Kefka, but... Or you just make sure that it's a very easy fight by, by doing a couple more checks. If you've got the fast checks to do it, I don't blame anyone for doing it. Alright, so nobody war, nobody war is up to 17 checks now. Yafe is at uh, 17 checks. Brianna is at uh, 10 or 11 checks. And Green Monkey, I believe, is at 12. Catching up here on the chat. Seto thinks an objective that gives you a speed increase like that doesn't seem to be in spirit of vanilla. Yeah, there's definitely, like we were talking about earlier before the stream, with, you've been given a lot more control, a lot more power over how much the game can potentially change with these new objectives. So it's a lot more in the whoever's creating the seeds power to make things as normal or as very different as they can as they would like so oh, no 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 get out get out <laughs> nobody wore drop not taking the stooges fight no nobody wore nobody wore got the no nobody wore got magi master on oh, it was jumping magi off master. the uh yeah jumping off the uh waterfall he's not gonna free fall with magi master nope <laughs> <laughs> no non-elemental damage by the ghost train instead. Well, maybe ghost train. Or we'll, we'll, it'll fight something from behind. Just that's the uh, way that works. And he's peeking to see Shadow. what it is. You don't have to go over there to see to to get the reward. You just have to finish it. So going to the right usually is just for peeking, but I think he wanted to do the check just for the check's sake. So I wouldn't have gone to the right. Shadow, I think he had morph, so. Yeah, he had morph. So, nobody bore with eight characters, yep. Red has seven, Yafe has seven, Green has six characters, currently. Joker, a nasty fight, I'd run from that as well. Presenter's good if you can insta kill the shell, otherwise, I would probably run from it. The reward I don't think's worth it. Yep, and they're. Yep, and they're running. using a smoke bomb getting out of there. It's 
a it's a pretty long it can be a pretty long fight if you either don't have the damage or the insta kill. He's looking for that offering though for those Apple weapons they found. That's good information, at least for Nobody War 2 to grab the to find Magi Master there, so now he knows he's not a potential person at for Kepka's tower. My least favorite place to run into him is right after doing getting Boon Baba 3'd. And then having Magi Master be the fight there. Or the end of Floating Island. Yeah, exactly. If you're not ready at the end of Floating Island for that, that's, that is terrible. And that's Inferno chasing them down the tracks here. Inferno, an end game Kepka tower boss. He's always tough. And Palador was out of the uh, falling house check. Okay. That's auto image complete for Yuff. Oh, I'm sorry. So Yuff, that was the 16th. I'm sorry, Brianna. I'm sorry, Cat. That was my bad. I thought I saw an image that like, you got it earlier. My bad. So that was number 16 for uh, Yuff. My bad. Yeah, and this uh, Inferno given, it looks like he's giving him a little bit of troubles. It's a tough boss for sure. And especially when you have uh, random targeting um, attacks like uh, with Dragonborn and stuff, so. I know sometimes it's okay to kill those arms so he doesn't get a Delta hit on you or some other nasty abilities. Right, and now where is Hefe? Is he thinking he's ready for Kefka, or is he gonna do a bunch more checks to get those 20 checks? You could finish off those 20 checks at Kefka's tower if you killed the dragons there and or uh, Toilet Atma. I mean, those all count as checks now too, so. Well, he is gonna check uh, Magic Master right now, so <laughs> that's gonna Good. be we an exit for them. <laughs> hope he saved right before going in. Unless he's uh, attacking with Atmo weapons, I don't think I'd want to take this fight. I love jumping. I mean, they'd have a Dragonhorn. Can the Dragonhorn person equip an Atmo weapon? Because that is a ton of damage. That still gets the 1.5 bonus, so... Well, at 1 point... Uh, no, 1.2. 1 1.2 or 1.3. Because it's a sword, technically. Only, 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 the, uh, only the Spears get the 1.5. I think all jumping is 1.5, but then spears get another 1.5. But I could be wrong. I'm just going off of what I think I've heard, so... I'm not the best for the super technical stuff. Schwan, oh, and he's Seto, jumping and everyone jump in there? Damage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Correct me. Correct me as I spout my life. I believe it's 1.5 for the spears, and it's 1.2 for the sword, I believe. If you start... That's not what we're talking about, Sato. <laughs> Super helpful there. Yep. You sure to be airborne in your jump when you do it. Oh, oh, and this Esper chick for the uh, Crusader or Economizer. Wow, that's interesting. For the uh, yeah. for the Excalibur check. Who with Merton on it? I don't know if I've seen. This is 1.5 for most weapons. Oh, Spears one, get one two. two times. What? Two times? Okay. Really? Yeah, I think so. So, so it makes that a weapon like. I mean, you're in the air not taking damage. I think it makes a, a pretty solid lance. Ooh, and Tyrannosaurus. Not the easiest fight, but that'll be a lot of experience for Hefe if you kill them. Okay, I stand correct. It is one and a half for all weapons except for Spear, which is two. So it's kind of right. <laughs> I, I, knew, also, I knew the Spears did more, I know that, but... Kind of right. Brianna getting her haste for all of her characters. Which puts her at 13 total checks. Again, kudos to Ceiling Cat for doing his best to... For doing I, I, their I best shouldn't to question up. Cat. I should know not to question Cat. This is what she does for a living <laughs> outside of her regular job. I would not be able to keep up with uh, tracking all four of these in this format. Very difficult, so again, kudos to, for doing that. We, me and, uh, and Saber Wolf here have the easiest job by far, just sitting here chatting with you guys, so. 
Yep. And again, throw questions in chat. If you have any questions in chat, don't forget to go to uh, www.ff6wc.com and try out the new 1.0 final uh, release for the Mario Bros. 6 Worlds Collide uh, series. This is the randomizer for Final Fantasy 6 or 3, depending on which version of the game you grew up with. Uh, again, shout out to uh, Hash. I'm um, Saber Wolf, Ceiling Cat on the tracker, Seto Kaiba is the restreamer, and of course our runners, which is Nobody War, Rana Fofena, Yafe, and um, Green Monkey, which is I don't care for this streamer on Twitch. <laughs> if you're in chat, those all are uh, Twitch streams, so go ahead and follow us if you like. Thanks for that, Jeremy. Uh, Nobody War got his 20th check just now. I wish I'd been paying a little bit more attention. I saw he got 44 vigor, so his characters are definitely be jumping and swinging for a lot more damage now. So they've been taking steroids apparently. <laughs> oh, definitely. So <laughs> if he doesn't feel ready for Kefka now, he's not going to ever. So something he wants to buy though, selling a bunch of stuff here in, I think he's still in Zen, World of Ruin Zen. Oh, 31 sleeping bags? That'll probably be enough. Yeah. Enough for a sleepover. <laughs> Do we have someone with throw? He grabs 91 uh, shuriken. By the way, I want to take a moment, just uh, not about, I'm going to step outside the game for a second. I want to give a quick shout out to my uncle, who unfortunately passed away two days before Christmas. Uh, that's kind of where I disappeared to. Um, but he is the he's uh, the one uh, that got me into playing Final Fantasy originally. So I want to give him a quick shout out and thank you for getting me into this whole entire Final Fantasy thing. So without him, I would not even be here doing the commentary for that stuff. So, so I want to thank him for that. So. Yeah, condolences for that. That's recent. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, it was a it was a rough Christmas, but that's okay. He's he's one of the most he was one of the best people in the world by far. Um, so awesome guy. It was awesome. He's also my godfather too, so it was awesome to have that. But as nobody wore going into Kefka now, that is the twentieth check. So there's no more campground that can be gained for this. <laughs> no more hesitation. Yes. So the question is, who is going to be uh, in the uh, main group here? Oh, we got the... I forget that. That's the landworm up on Brianna's screen. Great experience, but a tough, tough monster. Yeah, the eggplant with teeth. FA going for dragons? That's what I assumed a lot of people would be doing near the end of the seed is grabbing a bunch of dragons as their, as their checks to get stuff. Ooh, oh, but he opens with a vanilla the quake. dirt. Oh, rot, rot. <laughs> oh, and everyone lives at least. Yeah. That's good. Jeremy sending you good vibes for the family. And uh, Seto showing, you, you. <laughs> showing you puppy <laughs> pictures. That makes everybody feel better. I appreciate that, I guess. But yeah, we um, he used, uh, played original Guild War, the original, uh, original uh, Final Fantasy one, and we had a sleepover at, at his um, his house with all his uh, kids. Had like four cousins there, and uh, we played the entire Final Fantasy one in one night. <laughs> nice. And a sleepover that we didn't sleep, obviously. So, but that was On a dead NES? third dragon. Woo! On the NES, that takes time. Yeah, it does. I think they also did it with all fighters only. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I did. That. I actually oh. streamed that not too long ago just to see how it go on the pixel remaster. And there is the last of the statue. Doom is the uh, is the uh, infernal chin. Uh, uh, yeah, infernal check. And the Schwan's pointing out that we had a mis uh, misspelling on Green Monkey. I actually read that earlier. It was like, oh, yeah. So it's actually Green Monkey? I, th I thought it was Green this whole time. I thought I was in the wrong, so I didn't correct it. No, I, I saw it was spelled wrong. It didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it. It's fixed now, so. That's good, all right. Oh, and Brianna also not knowing you need two. That's, uh, yep, this learning curve for 1.0 for all of us. I, this is, yep. 
the the current seed of the week. I did that on a couple things, so but one of them is not uh, unique to the seed of the week, but uh, a recent change to 1.0 is if you get the skip to go to Kefka, it doesn't necessarily let you fight the final battle. So that's a new change with 1.0. So I got the skip, went to Kefka. Uh, out all the way to Kefka, and then you're not allowed to step on those switches to start the final battle. Which wouldn't be that bad, because you're like, okay, we'll warp out, go get your Kefka requirements and warp back in. Well, the other change with 1.0 is that Kefka's, uh, the, the skip is a one-time use. So I lost that skip and had to leave and then go do all of Kefka's tower again. Oof, that's rough. So yeah, this learning curve that we're all going through is, is definitely going to take some time. Well, we have three people in Kefka's Tower now. Nobody were getting through the first boss with the Doom there. Rain Monkey is currently going through Doom. Never mind, just beating Doom now with that 8,000 damage Pearl spell there. And Yafe just starting into Kefka's Tower now is about to fight their Doom fight as Brianna is... Pushing along slowly, uh, going through the uh, dream now to get a couple of the last two or three checks here. Yeah, Seto, you can't back out and skip. Exactly. It's a one time use skip. You can't just put all your powerful characters in one, warp in, or warp out, warp in, go through the next, warp out, warp in, and then beat Kefka with getting all of the experience for all your main party. Yeah, you can't cheese anymore. No, yeah, no more, cheese. no more cheesiness anymore for that. Which the skip wasn't. I don't think that was ever the intention for the skip. So, it. I still like that we need to be able to s split up your guys into three parties and fight bosses with just your uh, one or two person parties. Yeah, I didn't care for that myself. And, um, here's an interesting question: Is Atma a check inside of Kefka's tower? Toilet Emma, I believe, is a check. I'm also not 100% on that one, but I'm but I'm pretty sure it is since dragons were added. It, he, I know that he is an a, objective, and I, but I just don't know if all objectives are checks. So here's a question. Could you go into Kefix Tower with 17 out of the 20 you needed and then do the two dragons and Toilet Atma? You get the 20 and you're already in the tower? I also read that they did say yes, that the... And now you can go to Kefka's Tower at any time. You just can't fight the boss without the requirement. Okay. So I would probably, now knowing all that, I would probably have gone to 17 checks, gone into Kefka's Tower, do two dragons and toilet to Atma to get my 20 checks to get all the buffs and everything. Well, and then, since I'm already in Kefka's Tower, I could just keep on going. And JC Magic the Gathering says Atma's on the character gate tracker. So yes. So there you go. So there's a strategy there for everybody. That's what I was wondering too. It just depends on your power because taking two people, I mean, we've seen uh, parties of four struggling with the, uh, with dragons, with storm dragon and with dirt dragon. So maybe you don't want to send just one or two people up against, against the dragons and toilet Atma. Kefka's tower. You have Excaliburs, you have Atma Weapons, you have Illuminas, <laughs> you have three people with Jump, you have somebody with X Magic for free that can cast spells for free. I'm not that worried, okay? This is the most buff item skill seed I've ever had to commentate, everybody. <laughs> I'm not worried on this seed. Yeah, so I, don't, I don't know if I would risk the toilet boss as a check because of the split party, but you know, if you feel comfortable with the split party for dragons going in. At this yeah, point exactly. in the, but at this dragons point in the are, game, the dragons see... are going to be harder than the bosses. So. Okay, but at this point in the game, you already know that the only possible boss that could be on Toilet Atma right now would be the Guardian, is the only hard boss that's left. Because you know where all the other bosses are. Air Force would be really difficult with the split yeah. party. 
But we have seen Goddess, we have seen Poltergeist, we've seen Doom, we've seen Magimaster. Yeah, there aren't a lot of exactly. really dangerous bosses left. I agree with you for sure. Um, sub 90 minute boss pool? I don't oh, think so. Oh, for sure. Oh, I don't, on. yeah. Nobody I don't think almost so. there. It'll be close, I'll bet you. Well, if, you know, if nobody were to stop healing, Dol uh, Doluma, <laughs> yeah, Dolahan, yeah. rather. Yeah, he's Doom gaze. Eh, yeah, Doom gaze. Okay. He's undead, wreathed in flames. Of course, ice heals him. Well, technically, dual hand is a spirit. So. <laughs> not. Oh, and there's guardian. So guardian was uh, one of the statues. So you're gonna have to split people up anyways to fight it. But that Ooh, is gonna be a good saving. Saving. Dude, that was doing his damage yeah, too. This is gonna be a. Uh, I think this is gonna be a reset. It may be. Uh, Brianna, it looks like. No, nope, okay. she's gonna skip that one. I thought she was going Master, to Magic Master, Master gonna, yeah. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this one, all it is is a Genji shield. So the check, so. The hand likes it cold. That's why he's wreathed in flames. Ooh, Tritox, Stato also says, could be a difficult one if you're split party, because you might not have your person with fire or non-elemental damage in the right place. So which one, which check is the Guardian one on? You know we should know that with two people on it. Oh, but Saban yeah. getting, his, uh, getting his limit break or whatever you want to call it for 8,000 damage Woo! on him. Super lucky. Boom, oh, baby! There you go, that's how you do it. Green Monkey takes the lead! Sweet Tiger Break. Yeah, so Seto says, also Toilet Boss is on path 2, oh. you are correct there. And 3 is typically the one you front load because that's the one that has to fight more bosses. So, so whoever you're putting you know, on 2 is so usually all, one person. So all you know is that Toilet Atma check could have been freaking leader. <laughs> I'm just Very saying, well okay, been. I'm just saying. Super Saiyan, even. <laughs> Prepare for the worst, but you hope for the best. I got it. I hope that works out for you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Some of Ooh. us have to plan for the worst. Some of us have that Hefe luck, like we saw with the auction house. Oh. <laughs> we have to ask her about that when we get to the oh, uh, interviews sure. here. Of course, stick around, everybody. Afterwards, we do try to interview each of our runners and try to so they could relive their torment that they just went through. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's always showing your magic master. <laughs> God, that's that's a scary thought. Oh, you put it that way. <laughs> We'll convert you yet. I don't think anybody did the uh, confidence check for in the tower, though. The confidence uh, uh, chest check. And unfortunately, none of our runners have blitz on the character, so no uh, suplex train this time around. Yeah, the uh... evil toots always a scary one. This one was all right. Well, I think it's a physical attack, so there's everybody with image here. Yeah, the validation uh, check. I think he wants. Yeah, yeah Hefe always does that one. So Hefe is the only one that can officially complete the seat. Got it. Game chest. <laughs> uh, one of the fun objectives. We're going talking about memes. Uh, one of the fun objectives you can put in the game is to suplex a train. Which sounds like it would be super random, because you would have to find the train to be able to suplex it. But they've made it now that if you go into the forest, uh, if you don't have Sabin, or if you've already done the, the ghost train check, you can always go into the forest and find a ghost train, and then fight it again. So you can be like me and have that as an objective in the last race. Uh, we'll go in there specifically to suplex a train, kill the train without suplexing it, and then have to go back in and find the train again and kill it again. And actually, Everybody, like that. Everybody's favorite boy band, Vargas and the Pooh Bears. Uh, 
they don't have blitz, so they won't be able to just pummel defeat him. Yep, which also gives you less, ex less experience, so maybe they would just probably fight it anyway. Vargas, though, was never meant to be beaten physically, so he has a ton of freaking hit points usually. Especially on this stage scaling. of the game. This is late, yeah. yeah. Brianna running over to tunnel armor. Or not. They can yeah, I think, she's, I think she's trying to okay. figure things out. Yeah, tunnel armor, yeah. She so wants this is, 20 checks for all those rewards, too. So this is kind of neck and neck right now between uh, Green Monkey here and Nobody War. Leading into uh, Kafka here. The FA nipping at their heels. Not far behind at all, yeah. And unfortunately, Brianna is probably not going to be able to catch them past them as if she's going for the full 20, so... Well, they can be like me and get an Ultima right after, uh... <laughs> Right after Fallen 1, all you guys have one hit point and then get Ultima and die, so... Double I mean, Ultima? Happens, what could it mean? <laughs> if that happens to all three of them, I mean, she has a chance, so it's always it's always a possibility. I wouldn't rule, rule it out yet. Jeremy got my back in the chat. Thanks, Jeremy. It was all part of the plan. I intentionally forgot to soup like the train to show people that you can keep going back and fighting the train. It was educational. I won that race, so I, I think I can actually hey. do that, right? Right? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the plan! Stick to the plan! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I really uh... wish I could say I had meant to do that. That would sound that would make me sound a lot smarter than what actually happened, so. 11817 entry into the quad Kafka fight for Green Monkey. Nobody War is also gonna be on the hill in a couple seconds. I do not think this is going to be a sub-90 seed still. We have 12 minutes, less than 12 minutes left on the clock here. Probably it's going to be more like less than 11 seconds after the scene here. Um, so I don't think that 90 is going to happen. But still a pretty fast seed, though. But it'll still be pretty close. I mean, nobody war is not up there, but with the 20 checks that he has, this guy's have some crazy power. Yeah, dealt 60,000 damage to Kefka right after Fall 1. Ultima, everybody dead. That was, yep, that was my, I think that was the Living Seed or something that I did that on. It was pretty fantastic. So, could have played it smarter, but I didn't think I needed to. So, just overconfidence kill me. And, and here we go with spicy tier chicken. 1. Yeah, she finds her Interpolter guy. All right, you want to talk about tier one before he dies here in two seconds? <laughs> yeah, that dual uh, dual Atma weapon's doing fantastic. Saban is his magic user, taking out the long arm with, well, trying to take out the long arm with Doom. You don't want to take out the, the short arm, as we call it, his left hand first, as then, depending on what you kill next, if you kill the head last, he will quake all your guys. If you kill long arm last, you get a couple of hyper drives, which are likely to kill you. The uh, long arm is susceptible to instant death, which Green Monkey takes full advantage of and dooms that arm from done. So, yep, he's about done with this fight. He's got some. He had some lucky jumps on that. All the jumps went to the head there. So, very oh, lucky here, uh, jumps on this. So we'll get to get an answer to our question now, where we see Edgar has lost his image. So has Cyan. So as soon as he kills this arm right now. We will see if they start it with the next tier as he goes on to tier two. Make oh, yeah. sure it works that tier one. I have an hypothesis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've been watching a lot of dinosaur train lately. Thank you, my son, <laughs> two year old. <laughs> yep. I can hear the all day. I have an hypothesis. <laughs> I have a hypothesis. So, and the answer is. Da, 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 da. Yes, for science, Jeremy. Yep, there they, they go with it. image. That's what I assume. Uh, yep, they get it. So it does reset every time. So they will have the columns protection depending on how fast they can kill him. Oh, and Nobody Saban more. gets a quick imp. Let's see. Well, so that now is it's... still a jumper? No, it's not a jumper. Let's see then. No, yeah, he's been casting magic. So Now with tier two, um, you want to mute magic, that's the one on the far left, as he's got some really nasty spells for you, but is susceptible. He's looking, looks like he's looking through his spells for mute right now. Um, if you don't have a mute, then you'll want to kill him probably after Tiger. And then Tools, which is the machine area by the, by the lady there, she's susceptible to insta-death. 
also, and also has some very nasty magic, so you want to get rid of her as quickly as possible. Uh-oh, Mog has been muddled and he has X magic. That is not good. Better than your, uh, dual Atma wielding Edgar, but not good, yeah. Here comes an Escross from Tiger, which takes a good chunk of health from everybody. Yeah, you want to try to kill Tiger as fast as possible, because he is a big damage dealer of this whole thing once you mute, um... Once you mute the uh, magic caster. Oh, you just cast a meter on his own party! <laughs> oh, I hope it wasn't X magic and he does it twice. No, that was the second spell. The first spell oh, that was, was, the um, okay, was uh, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, somebody's needs gotta to, punch, somebody needs to punch, somebody needs to punch Mog right now. He needs to punch that Moogle. <laughs> no? Oh, Moogle's <laughs> airborne! Uh oh! <laughs> You're not punching that Moogle. Yeah, life three. That's a good call. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta put life three on Edgar. Oh no, put on a Saiyan, sorry. Yeah, three Kafka. There goes a dead so, Edgar. <laughs> so nobody wore, as I said, he's got crazy good damage, so he might he got to Kefka quite a bit later, but he might be able to catch up. So Sabin, punch Mog next to you. <laughs> he's got an Illumina, but I'd still punch him even with an Illumina. Ha! Yes. Magic! The magic casted haste on himself again. <laughs> Two streams in a row. Stop telling me he doesn't cast haste on himself, okay? Oh no! And he just meteored, killed Edgar and Sabin. Oh, magic just cast wall on himself too. And as Dusk says, Mog, what happened to <clears throat> X scan? Where he was just scanning all the time. Now he's like, oh, it's <sighs> against my own guys? I'm just gonna fire three and meteor and. Oh man. He needs to punch that Mog so bad. There we That's go. A, a major jerk. And he misses oh, he him. He missed him! <laughs> I hope he doesn't have beads. Oh, he's got image, so he can't hit him. Oh, that's right. He can't punch him. That's oh probably why he that's hasn't insane. done it yet. Oh, he just instant. Healed. <laughs> so, instant oh. image sounded so so great when we were talking about it earlier. Here's an example of, well, maybe not it might so not good. be the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody else's image is worn off, so Mog can freely punch the other characters. <laughs> but they just can't hit him. Can you jump? You can't jump on your own teammates either, not without being confused, so you can't jump on him. No. Oh, but Illumina doesn't miss, so he could. If Sabin punched Mog, I believe That's what I'm that saying. would still he needs work. Sabin to punch Mog. Yeah, as, as Mog keeps healing the enemies and killing this whole team. I'd rather keep healing the enemies and cast Meteor on my party, god dang. <laughs> yeah, they either need to... Yeah, there he goes. Oh, no. Oh, he's going to remedy him. Does that work for Confuse? Uh, no. The only, the only thing that cancels out uh, uh, Confusion is punching so. him in the face. That's the yep. Or would Dispel, maybe? Nope. No, just punching, that's only, punching only. No. Positive effects. Okay. And I think he could with the Illumina, so. Well, I think Nobody War here is probably going to be taking the lead past uh, Green Monkey as the three as the ten hits come out. Which is great for this image that he has on his characters and also the invisibility. Um, Yafe is catching up as well as Mog casts <laughs> reflect on, <laughs> on Blue Guy now. <laughs> And then he jumps. <laughs> and then he jumps. Oh, shoot. There we go. Nobody were in the lead, jumping up to tier three. But Hefe is right on his tails. I think he's going to finish this tier two very quickly. Doing a lot of damage with those jumpers. Now, tier two is interesting because Girl is immune to all uh, forms of elemental damage. Uh, so you want to kill her as fast as possible because she continuously heals uh, sleep. That is the Kefka-looking guy that's laying down in front of her. Um, she heals for her current health, which is 9,999. So the fastest way to get to 9,999 on her, the better. And, and of you course have you can't... to do that with non-elemental damp. Yep, that's what you were just going to say. Jump yeah, in there. I was going to say, you can't use the Excalibur or no, Excalibur sports. No, Excalibur doesn't work because it's fully elemental, so it would heal. It heals right afterwards, so. Yeah, so basically he just. So she's at. Well, attack her, in... healer with the same attack. Okay, so she's down to 6,640. 
So that is a death for her at 4,000, so she's dead. So that's 10,000 total. So all uh, that's using, left is sleep. Using the Illumina's not that bad because you can... If it kills, it can't proc. So it's not like you would do enough damage to kill him and then proc the, the girl and then heal him back. So. Granite entry into Kefka Tower at 126.55. And there, Green Monkey goes up to tier three. Hey, he monkey. survived. I have it would catch up there, but he is still plugging away, taking some major quarters, which finished off magic. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, and that's that Kamas protection right there. Just evade any straight up evade, anyways, from Excalibur. But yeah, or Illumina rather. Illumina, yeah. But nobody war <laughs> is now at the top of Kefka, fighting the Ma Angel of Magic himself as Jaffe is going to tier three. And there you go, Brianna, running two, toilet atma, and all it is is cranes. There you go. See, see, my logic would have worked. <laughs> Not that she needs it. She's already at twenty, but okay. Yeah, she doesn't need it. But... X Magic Bull three for the win. There you go. But anyways, we're at Kafka now. Our image has reset, so that will help a little bit. That'll help a ton if he does, uh... Oh, what's that? Not hyperdrive, but the other really stupid attack that does crazy damage. Oh, we, I mean, we're already past the, I think, Fallen one. It's not going to really come out soon here. There, oh, it, goes. there it is. Yep. Havoc Wings. He's going to clear three instead, so interesting. Image, image helps with the Havoc Wings, so. Yeah, that that that's huge. Man, Cyan putting down the damage. Another 10,000 hit jump. Oh, nice proc. Her proc off the loop. <sighs> Nobody floor. wore, though. Uh, and a great. sniper proc. Dang, that was uh, 24,000 damage you just dealt. He is very confident with this uh, with this Kafka fight. He's not waiting for waiting for anything. He's not even weight tricking him. He's just throwing out that damage to take him out. Yep, just well, there you go. There Boom. it is. Done. GG. Nobody wore. 29, 16. Oh, about. We'll time intersection. What was this top 90 like I said? Wow, 129.32. <laughs> he does the sub 90. Congrats on that one, guys. Oh, it was that. close. Super close. We will see if uh, nobody wants to jump in for uh, chat. Meanwhile, uh, Green Monkey f is pushed back in front of Yafe for the final Kefka fight here. have no problem with this at all doing quite a bit of damage as well well now that mog's back on his side again yeah <laughs> oh getting the pearl proc too which is awesome Oop. gg nobody i guess sure. nobody will be joining us in a couple minutes here he's probably gonna run to the bathroom and try to Get a victory <laughs> drink here as Green Monkey finishes up here. You're a little ahead of the, the stream. Kapow, it looks like there maybe. it is. Yep, there it is. Second place time of 130.38. Very good times. Oh man, that's just over a minute difference. We'll, we'll get him in. Typically, we get him in order, so we'll try to grab nobody more first. The Green Monkey just jumps in, then we'll talk to him. Ah, we'll just take we'll take over many we'll take them all on at the same time <laughs> Jones is typing is he done or is he congratulating people nah he's just congratulating <laughs> no he says if you guys could stop winning that'd be great <laughs> <laughs> now if you want to roll along with our runners here you can um, and you can join us for these races too during these community nights we also do have other races around here um, that would also be uh, seed of the week is also available to run um, there's a suit that everybody jumps on that tries to run as fast as you can. It changes every single week, so. 
Absolutely. We got several weekly races. I mean, jump in, play casually. The game's super fun casually. I was not confident to just start off racing. <laughs> I maybe played 30 plus seeds before I raced, but now we've got the seed of the week plus a weekly draft plus a weekly living seed where you get to pick the flags. Yep. Or you can just jump on Discord and throw up some seeds and just try to have uh, fun with some of the uh, some of the friends that you can meet on here. And once again, www.ff6wc.com, and you can find our Discord there. Join in with everybody there. And as nobody war joins us, the winner tonight. Oh, is he just? Oh, and then he left. Oh, he's back. <laughs> I woke up and he just walks out of the door. Congratulations, nobody. Very, oh. very well done. Oh, awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, so uh, this is a very new format. I don't know how many. Uh, is this your first time with 1.0, or have you done so? Or I guess not 1.1, but have you done a lot yeah. of practice seeds? No, well, I haven't ran a lot of seeds. I just been playing around with flags a lot, and especially ones like this where it's like an objective where, say, you have like eight conditions and they're all random checks. Just you know, trying to like build out some some seeds like that so like this kind of feels like i've been practicing the past like day or so but it was fun it's like it's like opposite of my normal like standard race strategy where it's like i'm spending the first half of the race well, not first half the first like 15 minutes searching not doing checks this i'm just you have to do checks so straight in straight into it I was gonna ask. I mean, now that dead checks in this seed were a were a thing of beauty. I mean, how did that change your strategy? Uh, I'm just trying to remember back the path. Like originally, I just um, I was saving like the belt and Umaro because I knew those were basically like free. You know, Umaro has Tritok with it. I, I knew I was getting close to getting the uh, the. Um, uh, stat bonuses, getting close to 20 there, so that's why I just went for those last few, those last three, I think, before I went into the tower. I didn't see, yeah, you got something like 40-some-odd vigor. What were the other things you got for that? Uh... uh Do you remember the numbers? I didn't... I didn't see no, them. not off the top of my head. The magic power was low, the speed was like 26, I want to say the vigor was the highest one at like 40. Yeah, that's what I. That's the one I saw. I caught it right at the end. It's like bigger, forty-four. It's like hot dang. You're gonna be oh, stacking know, things yeah. for a lot. And even that speed, even the speed will Edgar like, but the Illumina, like, super early, like twelve checks in, is was like, Huge. felt like it was pretty easy. Yeah, pretty easy after that. And then I found that sniper really early, which kind of carried my offense like super early game. So Edgar just swinging both of those crushed everything. So this was, I don't know if you've seen, but this was an incredibly close race. You beat Green Monkey by just over a minute. And I think we've now had, with the people playing alongside, not on the stream, I think we've had four people finish in less than five minutes different from you. So, very close You cut race. out there. Oh, sorry about that. Can you hear me? Hello? I think, I, think, no, I hear you fine. I've been hearing you fine. Oh, both you all the time. You hear me okay, okay there, nobody? No, oh, it looks like we sound like we uh, lost nobody there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe he's there. I don't know. I see him there, but I don't hear him. I think I'm still here. There you oh, go. Okay. Yeah, we're just commenting on how close the uh, race was the end. You finished with a 129.32. Green Monkey with a 130-38, yeah, Faye with a 130-159. Very tight race there. Jolly wow. Green yeah, Ray was there close. with the 134. Oh, oh screen, yeah. yeah. Bunch of people within just five minutes of you. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool, uh, <laughs> yeah, nobody wore anything else you wanted to, to bring up about this race or anything? No, I think that's everything. Cool. Well, yeah, thanks for joining in. Super fun, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen you around. Have you been playing for a long time? I mean, glad to see uh, you. I've been on the win. Pretty much been playing since uh, a few months after it came out. Had some uh, work stuff going on the past couple months, 
so I'll try uh, to get okay. it in when I can. I joined. I joined not that long ago. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, you guys have cool. a good one. Yeah, thanks. Congrats yeah. again, buddy. I'll grab Green Monkey and bring him in. Okay. Hey. hey! Wow! Just dropping right through that door. <laughs> Our lap here. Hey, Green Monkey, how you doing? <laughs> good. How's it going? Um, yeah. GG, uh, first thing we have to ask. Is you're... it about Mog? Oh, it has to be about Mog. <laughs> the ultimate traitor for you. Yeah. Um, I, th I had a shifty look before Kefka, and I knew he was up to something. <laughs> I knew he was up to something, that dark <laughs> fool. <laughs> so, uh, did, uh, we were hoping, we're yelling at you, hoping you'd smack him with the Illumina, since he had that image on, your other characters couldn't hit him to break him out of that, but... Would the Illumina work better? For I, that? Well, I don't think the Illumina misses. So, oh, like, I didn't realize I, that. Yeah, I was like, he had auto image, so I was like, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah, just, we saw that. We saw the one, desperation, <laughs> the one desperation swing, which didn't hit, and you're like, ah, screw this. Yeah, I just tried so, to heal up and play in a world where Mog was on the other team, basically. <laughs> you, you actually got the Kefka's tower first. I think that you yeah. had a pretty solid chance at winning this thing, and then that confused with image. I mean, when I heard actually, you were going to yeah. auto image, I was like, that's super powerful. But then yeah. actually, he he got to Kef Tower second. He started Kef he he started Kef uh, before oh. what he did. Yes, yes, yes. That's what oh, I mean. Okay, okay. I okay. Kef Tower, but to Kef first. You're correct. Yeah, it was pretty efficient. With uh, Guardian went down quick, which was, or he was like the scary one. I feel like of the the bosses. And, um, yeah, it, it was good. I don't know. Uh, I tried to get the rods early. I felt like that was like my principal strategy. Oh yeah. Uh, to get that offense, and then once I got that, I was just like trying to cruise through, I guess, until I got the Illumina. Yeah, the rods early game for as a reward is definitely huge to get through those early bosses. You know, for those fights now, especially with these um, kind of early checks you're kind of making, the free checks, which buff up the enemies like that. But you're gonna have the rods to compensate for that, don't you? Yeah, exactly. So that was kind of like um, just get something just to, and it was it was needed especially in the sea because offense early was lacking. But it was I mean it was great late, but it was all like physical stuff. So there wasn't like a fire shield or something to teach fire to or anything like that. Um, oh, and Brianna missing a switch, having to go back for a switch. <laughs> then she will. Classic. Then she will be into. Yeah, God. such an easy thing to forget to open those I doors. I did that so much. Oh man. Yeah, uh, but good job, Green Monkey. I mean, seriously, if it wasn't for Mog, I mean, <laughs> you you finished I only in the end. Of the park, and so. I <laughs> I had every bullet of Phoenix down him life. I just did like that. I can't wait to watch your next four or five streams as you put peace rings on everybody before Kefka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just don't leave Mog on the airship every time. <laughs> Isn't that how you started the stream? Like you had both you guys like muddled and you had to like reset or something? No, that might have been someone uh, else. It was you. Think. Okay, it must be someone oh, else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, someone did that with number 24. I, th I don't remember. Oh, God. F.A. or someone, but yeah, he just confused, nobody. Yeah. Like, confused both of his characters, and they're just like, okay, never mind, we're out. <laughs> so, but then he went back in with Umaro and was able to get it done quick, so it worked out. Umaro's boss. So, uh, <laughs> with these these objectives, how have you been enjoying one point? Well, the new changes, I guess, the new objectives. I like them. Um, it, it adds a little bit of uh, different... Uh, I don't know, like, new and exciting uh, challenges, I guess. Um, I think it's, it can they can get, like, a little crazy, and it's cool that we're trying to, like, figure out where... Uh, like, this was perfect, you know? It was, like, the, they had an impact, and they were, like... But they weren't, like... Um, it still felt like a race, you know what I mean? It wasn't, like... It wasn't just uh, silly, random luck or anything. Yeah, exactly. But the item actually... chests were outstanding, though. <laughs> That's, that's All true. the items were just wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. there were some nice ones. <laughs> South Figaro of World of Ruin was really nice. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, Saber Wolf was really commenting on. Yeah, it was like bam, 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 bam. I was like, oh, okay. And then yeah. half yeah, price. And then Atma weapons for 18k. 
Yeah. <laughs> Cheapest Atmo weapons I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yep. Um, but yeah, it was good. <laughs> cool, well again, GG. Uh, anything else you wanted to point out? Anything else that went well or funny for you in the seed? No, I think that was it. Just never trust a little girl. Never trust the move. Never trust the move. Lesson learned. <laughs> that would be awesome. good. Well, thanks, Green Monkey. Yeah. We'll pull Hefe in if he's ready. I'll just pull him in if he's ready or not. Yep. G. Hey, man, what's up? Uh, so, first and foremost, congrats on the third place finish here. It was a really, really fun watching you guys, all three of you, and kept this tower at the same time. Awesome. Yep, yep. Super close race. I mean, what? Two and a half minute difference between first to third. So very, very close. And then Jolly Green Ray off screen. And it's just a couple minutes behind you. So awesome. Now we have to ask your favorite place in the world. This seed was obviously the auction house because you spent it's so much favorite. time there. It's my favorite place in any seed. <laughs> You sure do say a lot of things about it. You usually are very vocal about your dislike of that, but I keep seeing you go back to it. Well, I figured it would be quick checks, you know, maybe get an imp, but be out in like three minutes with two checks done. Instead, yep. I got four imps. Four imps in a row. Oh. Yes. The revenge of the imp from last week, I guess is what we're saying. Yeah, we're so not gonna, we imps. have to call that Hefe luck from now on, for sure. Right. Without the four imps, I would have been in first. Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. If that had gone better, you could easily say that. Absolutely. I mean, with how close the race was. Definitely. I mean, there were also some other very uh, crazy things happening. Green Monkey got his uh, Moogle confused on Kefka, who then meteored his team multiple times, and he tried to unconfuse him, but because of the image that was on him, he couldn't hit his own Moogle, and yeah. He definitely lost a lot of time that a lot of time at Kefka Tower that he didn't need to lose. Ouch. <laughs> so he he got yeah. to Kefka first and then finished a, a minute a minute behind uh nobody for. Because right. of the dang Moogle. <laughs> definitely can attribute all of that to the Moogle. So yeah, otherwise he'd have been done a couple minutes sooner. So how how is one point zero to you with all these objections and stuff, Eric? To be honest with you, I love the objectives for casual type play. And if we're going to do objectives in races, I would like for them to be like these objectives and not set a clock with random RNG in the middle of a race. <laughs> yes, I 100% agree with that. I hope I never have to set a clock again. Right, that's that's where I am with it. But for casual play, they are absolutely amazing. I love them. They're they're great. I mean, you can extend a seed. You can make a seed as short as you want. You can get great equipment. I mean, you can do so many things. Well, but, in racing, but in racing, I'm more of a traditionalist. Like, who can figure out the puzzle the quickest and go? Not who can play dumb games and win dumb prizes. <laughs> well, figuring out the puzzles thing, we did come up with a new one that nobody did because we were so late into the uh, event. As, yeah, Brianna's, that's currently 7,520 checks now. Thank you, Kat. Um, <laughs> so one of the things we did realize is that you could have gotten to uh, 17 checks, then go into Kefka and do both Dragons and Toilet Atma for the 28th checks. Yeah, I thought about it. To get to 20. So, oh, you did think about it. So what what, what, what decided to make you, eh, maybe that's not such a good idea. I couldn't remember if I was at 16 or 17. Uh, <laughs> there you go didn't want to stop and look because I figured I mean the seed went real well for me and I figured that people were should be getting done soon so the clock was ticking and I figured it was an hour and a half seed I figured it could be done in an hour and 20 if everything went right so I felt behind so I didn't bother to stop well, when everybody has Excaliburs, multiple Dragoon Boots, and everything else, X-Magic to start the game on Mog, I mean, jeez. Oh, you have, you have all the tools did, to the Three Illumina. Did, did three I Illumina. sell my Illumina? Oh, we don't know. Because I, 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 I either didn't get one or I sold it by mistake. 
Oh shoot. No, well, yeah. Well, Lumina was given for that. free from objectives. So I would say that you probably sold it then. Yeah, yeah that definitely was... everyone got one for free after I think 10 checks or so. Yeah, I mean, I saw that I got it, and then I went to equip it, and I didn't have it. <laughs> so, I don't know if... I mean, I may have sold it somewhere in between, but... Whatever. Uh, Jeremy, um, you can... Um, if you go to our Discord, we have the seat available there, if you'd like. Um, if that's for anybody who wants to grab the seat here. Yeah, for FFS, I just... Because Nightfall comment. is acting up again. <laughs> yeah, just jump, jump in the, jump in the Discord, and the seed is posted there. We can't give you like the full seed with the ROM for obvious reasons. But right. if you want to just play the seed, it's easy enough to find the ROM yourself, and you can just jump in and play. So, and then run it casually, all you like. Yeah, this is all like... right. So. This so is the extreme mode first... now for uh, Worlds Collide that we've seen so far, I would say. Like, this is pretty crazy. So cool people are taking care of it. Yeah, yeah so I really like this format with the with the checks, just any check being what you need to do. It made for an interesting run. Um, it felt like it was actually less luck. Nobody was stuck, stuck searching for a character. I mean, you maybe wanted your fourth character, but it's not like you were doing check after check trying to find a match site or a character so yeah no, i, I agree a, with a that format. i think I, I didn't think of doing just the check format but i mean it makes perfect sense realistically because you know at that point if you don't have what you need you're still not rushing to the tower because you can go find whatever else you need potentially you know if you don't have calmness protection it's like well i can go on ahead and go for 20 checks which will give me a lot more things and you know potentially get calmness protection or a better character or whatever else you need so it's yeah, a really this, cool concept yeah this c was very much uh gal into serpent trench to get edgar to unlock the rest of the c um, yeah pretty much i noticed that, was, that. it was yeah. pretty linear <laughs> yeah, yeah. nobody linear. had uh yamaro yeah, there was nobody for Yamaro, nobody for Mog, so the only one left was the... And that was actually uh, Kepka and Norsh, even. So yes, that wasn't was. even a character check to even get nope. that. So, yeah, that was a very linear seed after the... Anything else, bud? No, I'm good. Anything you got? Nope, I just can't wait to watch you do the auction house again. <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'll, I'll be streaming all week, so you'll you'll see it again. I promise you. And awesome. thanks for the restreamers, and thanks for you guys for doing comms, and thanks for everybody for hanging out. And shout out to those in chat who was keeping track of the score of Imp Four FA One. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you for thank keeping you. up. I don't think I was going to lose oh, count, sure. but thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, well, thanks, Fa. Evening. GG. Yeah. Great time. Thanks for playing. See y'all later. Right. And we got Brianna. She is in tier three. She is doing some crazy damages. She's gonna make short work of this uh, Kafka, and then we'll get her in. She should be done yeah, here really I think shortly. Yeah, she has the highest level characters of anybody that we've had on stream here. Yeah, Atma Weapons doing over seven to eight thousand damage. Calmness comes out. We're going to final final Kafka now. Which she'll finish here. I think it'll only be a minute or two. Yeah. Which is still a sub two hours, which is always the goal, so it'll be a great seed for her. Jones finished just recently with a time of 142.59. Good job, Jones. And I think finished uh, while we were talking to everybody else. running that's left, actually, from our group of runners here on and off stream here. Catching up here, chat, not a whole lot going on there. Oh yeah, starting out with a quick 10,000 damage. Oh, with a couple jumpers. Yeah. 15, 20. Oh, with the pearl proc, she probably negates uh, all in one. It's probably enough damage to stop him from even doing that. Yeah. And we do have, uh, she did keep Mog on X Magic Duty as Edgar's doing 8,000 damage. Uh, Wax there. Hyperdrive. Ooh, hyperdrive, that's gonna kill. Ooh, oh, I and he lives it. through it. 
double fire three to get through. And we're 5,000, 5,300, 15,000 damage jumps. Boom, <laughs> yeah. Done, as she says in the chat. Fastest final Kefka fight ever. That was really fast. Yeah, so. one minute, 51 seconds. One, uh, one hour, 51 minutes, 35 seconds. We'll see if she wants to jump into chat here in a second. I know she says she's got it. She's, she's, she she said she was she playing was... this bad because they have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yep. I have definitely uh, been there where uh, you wish you could go get bum rush or something and get a quick potty break. I almost did that in my last seed where I went to the, uh, the opera house because I'm like, oh, I've got five minutes of just sitting through this opera house and I almost got up to do something. And then I realized you still have to enter in the correct responses. Which, luckily, I remember from, you know, when I was a kid playing the seed all the time. So. I'm really glad I didn't jump out and have that mess me up. Yeah. Actually, I did I did do that on my last run where I died and I forgot to save at a certain point And I got reset and I had to do... Uh, bum rush check again and I'm oh. like okay bathroom break I'm done I'm just gonna take my time now <laughs> it's cause I'm like yup sad part is I think it would have run that race too if that didn't happen that happens that was all of us just uh let's see so yeah like we said thanks to everybody that's been participating um, the restreamer for sure with uh, oh not uh, Seto Kiaba or Seto Kaiba, however he pronounces that. Uh, also, thanks to the tracker, which is Ceiling Cat. I definitely could That's not have done that myself. Cat that is a definite professional one. tracker. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a hard one to track for sure. With the with the new system, something outside your comfort zone, something you're not used to doing. With the with the new format, and thanks to all our for all of our racers, nobody wore Brianna, Hefe, Green Monkey. What an that was an awesome, awesome race, very close. So, yeah, GG to everybody, as Green Monkey says. There's Brianna. She seems to be back. Let's see if she'll jump in the chat now. There she is in the waiting room. I'll pull her in. We're ready. Alrighty. Hey, Brianna. Hi. GG. GG, thanks. Good job on the <laughs> sub two. Uh, How did you feel about that race? I was having fun. Absolutely. So how was the uh, 25 plus checks you did there? <laughs> you know, give the people what they want. Nobody ever gets to see Toilet Atmer or the Side Dragons. Yeah, you yeah, were we... the only one. That's a my buddy here, Saber Wolf, was wondering why no one was going for those. So yeah, do seventeen checks to go into Kefka's tower because you only need fourteen to Kefka's tower. Get the last three checks doing the two dragon in the toilet. I'm gonna get the full twenty to get the image. So yeah, um, the the stat boosts were nice. Yeah, that forty four like, bigger. Oof. And then it took me like an hour and a half to. Remember that Locke can't use the Atma weapons, but Edgar can. So then I switched up who was doing what. Yeah, when you Ooh. gave him those Atma weapons, hitting for eight thousand plus a swing, that was, that was some crazy damage. It was really quick tier four Kefka. I, <laughs> he didn't even get a turn. Yeah, you you had your two jumpers land on him, did enough damage to bypass uh, Fallen One, and then just finished him off. That was awesome. Yep, hyperdrive counter, and then he was gone. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I just started to die laughing. <laughs> Mog even lived through the through the hyperdrive. It wasn't even yeah. To that take was him out, even so. more surprising than one rounding it. Yeah, Saber Wolf even said that he's like, "Oh, well, there's a dead Mog," but nope, no, barely survived there. Um, but Mog was Mog had a fun seed this seed. Uh, for Green Monkey, he uh, got muddled. Uh, Kefka uh, tier two and started killing his team with X Magic uh, Meteor. Um, Yafe had fun at the auction house getting four imps in a row on auction house. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, the best, nobody, 
nobody would have just plugged along. He ended up with like the most characters, I think, because he actually found Shadow too. So. Oh wow. <laughs> the best part oh, of Green yeah, Monkeys no. is that bonus image, which you thought was such a great reward, and now he couldn't hit his own character who was confused. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a huge feels bad. <laughs> So are you enjoying uh, the new and improved 1.0 final release of the uh, Worlds Collide here? Oh, yeah. No, that was hilarious. I'm sure the items help, too. Like, especially yeah. a self figure or World of Ruin. Yeah, I enjoyed every, every moment of that. Oh, and look, we got another racer finished in seventh. Jex and, Rock just finished uh, with a Jex time of 157. Rocks. That's everybody. So the room. That's everybody. Yep. So Jex was basically. So GG all. It was anything else. Was... To... All right, go ahead. Oh, if I had found Shadow, like I would have yeah. gone to Bloody Continent just for the lols. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Yes, yeah, so the Shadow with the three checks there for Floating Island plus the free check on uh, Gao's dad. I mean, wow, that would have been that would be interesting. Yeah, I've never seen this format of race before, but with if you started with, say, Setzer and Shadow and maybe some other characters with those quick free checks, Terra or Celeste, I mean, this could play out completely Oh, yeah, this scene could have gotten very ridiculous and very fast. But but then in the same site, on this particular seed, like we were talking to so many other racers, like this was very linear. The only way you could advance the seed was actually through Kefka and Marsh. Which yeah. was actually beneficial for having a start with Mog and um and Yamaro, who are Narsh uh, characters. Yeah, um, um I did that was the only way. Well, I did Doma first, and then as soon as I saw that that was a dead check, I'm like, you know what? I'm going straight to K and N. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that was the only character that was available to start with. So it was none of the, even the three people you started with. Which is pretty crazy. That's funny. That's really funny. Normally, a uh, Kefka Narsh gating will set you way back as you try everybody else's checks first. But like Saber Wolf said, if you already have Mog, you were already going up there. You see the character, you know where he is. So yeah, it really helped. It's like seat, I think. three characters. Two of them are Mog and Omaro. You can peek Omaro very easily. Um, Cyan's easy check is dead. I didn't even bother checking the cave on the vowel. Or not cave on the vowel, uh, Zozo, Mount Zozo. Yeah, Mount Zozo was just an item. Yeah, it was another um, dead. It was a red cap, actually. So yeah, it was a red not cap, even, yeah. Not oh, even a nothing good lost check. there. Yeah, um, which is funny because, I mean, are there dead checks now? Is that what we should call them if you're running uh, this race? If, if you're it's not just bounce for progression. If you're not running objectives that require checks, I guess you could still call them dead. Well, you definitely could, but on this one, I don't think you should. I mean, that's what. Oh yeah, no, them, no, no any check. Forever. Yeah, every check was a good check on this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the other thing with Gao is like having Gao at Narsh. Want to go back to that for a second? Is that the first objective you got was dried meat? So yeah, you could have gotten Gao and go straight into a Gao check after that because you already had the dried meat in you. Which so. is what I did. Yep. Which again was a was a which pretty much everybody, yeah. <laughs> which was not a character check either, but still. As the FA says, a check is a check is a check. So Yeah, a check is a check is a check. Well, cool. Um anything else fun or interesting pop out at you from the seed? Um from the seed, not especially. Well, okay, spicy chicken. Um, where I decided to do my last check. Yeah, that was fun. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, Jack Sprock said that too. He said spicy chicken was too was too spicy for him. The seed. Sp yeah, so. Nashville hot wing. Oh boy! <laughs> uh, once I remembered that it's he had any ridiculous defense and that Edgar could put the Atma weapon on I was fine but before that yeah right yeah nobody war was using his uh sniper and a, and an Illumina and the sniper with the proc was doing more damage than the Illumina because he has so much defense oh no where was Magi Master I didn't find him 
Uh, he Magi was at the falls. Master. Yeah, and a couple <laughs> people went to the falls, but I don't think anyone actually fought Magi Master. I think everyone yeah, just that was a, out of that. Nope. I'm not free falling with Magi yeah, Master. No. Nope. <laughs> I mean, so by the time I would have checked it, I would have already had the 30 spells, and one of those spells was Berserk. So yeah, I would have wrecked the fight, but I wasn't going to go and check it. Yeah, I thought that would be one that everyone would go to immediately, since... I mean, this is a seed all about quick checks, but not everybody went to it, but nope. most of you had to, had to bail, so. I was in it for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Too bad no berserk. I didn't see any uh, train suplexing, but. Yeah, no, I had, like, no spells until I had all the spells. It was amazing. <laughs> nice. It was a, a lot less magic this seed, but, I mean, in a seed that gives you Aura Lance and Pearl Lance and Illumina and a full set of Dragoon stuff. Yeah. You don't, you're not going to cast as much magic. And then I went, yeah, like, and then I ended up early buying the Mega Elixir because I'm like, I have the stuff to get it just in case. And then I find like 17 other Mega Elixirs just through the basic early game routing. <laughs> this seed would have been such a frustrating seed for all the dead checks if it wasn't that checks weren't dead. Yeah. Jolly Green Ray proposed he was ready for KT and only had three espers. So he just kept doing checks anyway to get to the 20 perks. Yeah. And he would also get espers. Yep, I had like three or four when I hit KT and then I shot up to eight <laughs> by the time I hit my 20. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of magic early at all. I mean, it was all found late game. So very interesting. Yeah, I felt like an Excalibur was in every time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of those. Not wrong, Jeremy. You're not wrong. Which, they're not my favorite sword, but they do give decent stat bonuses for other abilities, so. They're also good, easy, early damage, so. Yep. As long as you don't run into anything undead, because everything undead or everything demonic absorbs peril. Yep to throw too i definitely agree with that jeremy that's about what i think they're best for that are selling them so awesome well thanks brianna thanks always for your help love when you you help us with the restreaming or racing uh oh, happy gg too. gg on the win yeah i was always excited for tonight because it's the first time i've been able to race in a while oh very nice yeah well we're glad you could join us it's always fun so have anything else you wanted to, to bring up? Um, come around Valentine's Day, so like in the next week or two, keep an eye out for a special custom Valentine's Day themed seed. Ooh. Oh, very fun. Very okay, fun, yeah. For that for sure. Yeah, Saber Wolf, I think we're ready. Oh, that's Saber I was thinking it was set. I was, ah. I right, was making you. sure it was set to go. <laughs> yeah, if he's ready. Cool, well. Uh, thanks again, Brianna. Thanks. I'll st send another final shout out to the restreamer, trackers, uh, racers. Thanks, everybody. That was awesome. Super fun seed. Thanks for everybody spectating, keeping the chat alive. Yep, and don't forget to uh, follow us up at uh, ff6wc.com. Uh, for Worlds Collide, run your own seeds. Of course, we got the seed of the week. Great community to run seeds with. Follow us on Discord. Uh, that's where you want to get all your news and information and uh, meet some new people. They're great people to be around. Uh, so for now, uh, that'll do it for us. We're going to throw it over to a raid. We're going to be raiding uh, W.R. Jones, one of our peeps in the community, and uh, give him a little love. Awesome. Thanks again. Thank you.